Dumpty dum dum dum. Well, here we go again. Tomorrow's another science fair and another chance for total humiliation. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. Oh, no, look at the competition. Pi and Harvey are creating cold fusion. Jim and Lisa are building a particle accelerator. And as usual, Jem smuggled in a German scientist as her lab partner. We're creating a black hole that'll like open into an alternate universe. Are you sure you're a junior high school student? Oh, yeah, yeah, mein hip flower power groovy mama. So big deal. There's nothing wrong with your project. Oh, right. The wonders of communication. Two soup cans and a string. My lab partner's brilliant idea. That's right, Spellman. My idea. And just because they made us lab partners doesn't mean I'm sharing first prize. <laughs> About time he beamed up to the mothership, isn't it? Hey, Sabrina, Chloe, have you seen this? <laughs> it's like the lamest project in the science fair. Oh, um, yeah. It's pretty bad, huh? Pie and me have got a wicked entry. Come on, check it out. Cool. Very cool. Cold fusion to be exact, dude and dudettes. We're gonna transfer hydrogen atoms through a super cold conductor to create an unlimited power source. What you think? Well, it's no soup cans on a string, but I guess it's okay. Okay? It's so high up on the genius scale, my ears popped. Hey, what do you expect? Pi's only the smartest kid in the known universe, and Greendale. Thank you, adoring public. I'd blush if it weren't so true. Anyway, I've just got a few quantum variables left to figure out, and it's done. Hey, pie face! Kinkle! What do you call that piece of junk? Last chance for losers? Ha ha ha! Uh-oh, one of the experiments got loose. <laughs> you know the rules, Kinkle. Losers forfeit their lunch. That's not my lunch. Anyone seen the moldy bread I was using for my penicillin project? <gasps> <gasps> no! Well, the day wasn't as humiliating as I'd hoped, but at least I got barfed on by a half-wit. Oh, my tum-tum is all hurty inside. I just can't believe it. The science fair is tomorrow, and now with Hurlboy out of action, I don't even have a partner to blame my miserable project on. Boy, Sabrina, Slugloaf got you good. Gross. Can't admit, though, he showed some major velocity. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for your sensitivity and caring. I'm truly touched. Oh, this stupid locker's stuck again. Hi, can you? No problem, mi amiga. Our genius at work. Uh-oh. Vice Principal Peevish. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, thought you'd laugh at the law, eh? Well, mister, your skateboarding days are over. Okay? Listen up. The one thing I won't tolerate in my hallways is skateboarding. This <gasps> two hired me to keep you ragamuffins in line, so by golly, You'd all better start walking the straight and narrow, or else. Take a last look, mister. Because you're heading for detention. <gasps> Boy, the new vice principal sure is tough. So is this locker, but I think I got it figured out. Must be nice to have a genius partner. <sighs> or any partner. Well, you've only got one day left, so if you can't find one, you better invent one, and fast. Phew. But maybe first you should go home at lunch and change clothes. Invent one. Hmm. Got it. Now stand back and behold a genius at work. Open sesame. <laughs> I meant to do that.
Ahoy there, landlubber! Just, um, explaining the food chain to our newer residents. Salem Quick, who was the greatest inventor in history? No contest, the guy who invented the can opener. Salem, I'm serious! I don't know, probably Thomas Alva Edison. Thomas Alva Edison, of course, I should know that! Salem, I'm going to have the world's greatest lab partner. I'm going to conjure up the 12-year-old Thomas Edison from the past. With his genius, he's sure to cook up something awesome we could use to win the science fair. Hmm, think he could invent the automatic tummy scratcher? From the eternal depths, I arise to bring forth a... Spooky, I need a spell to bring Thomas Edison forward in time. And can you hurry it up? I'm on my lunch break. Oh, by all means, skip the eloquent intro. It's all rush rush nowadays. Here's your little spell. Of course, you realize it could disrupt the flux of the space time continuum and mean the end of life as we know it. But hey, you're in a hurry. out of time you seek to cure the invention that be weak, then let the promised medicine be young Thomas Edison. What strange dream is this? Exactly, Mr. Edison, er, Tom. It's a dream. It's a future dream where you get to go to future school and invent future stuff for a future first prize. And I'm Sabrina, your dreamy host. <gasps> and what matter of mechanical wizardry is this? You get right down to business. I like that. It's called a boombox. It plays music. You can check it out while I change my clothes. Be back in a minute. Boombox? OK, Tom, let's go to school. Tom? Oh, man, he took apart the boombox. Figures. Tom, where are you? Man, they weren't kidding when they said Edison was Mr. Curiosity. He took the whole kitchen apart. Except this. Nobody messes with my can opener. Salem, where is he? In the garage, looking at Quigley's car. Oh, no! This dream is filled with wonderful devices. <gasps> Pleased to meet you, fellas. You too, ma'am. Tom's an exchange student from uh, Nova Scotia. He's real smart. Smart enough to open this locker? It's still stuck. Hmm. I'll be glad to try. Don't waste your time, my man. I tried it. It's impossible. Wow, cool move. We never thought of popping the hinges. Tom, you're a genius. Yeah, I suppose if you take the obvious route. And what is this conveyance? You don't have skateboards in Nova Scotia? Skateboard? Never heard of it. How does it operate? Come on, I'll take you to our secret spot and show you. You'll be shredding pavement in no time. Joe Harvman, that's our secret spot. Like, just you and me? Okay, I know you're up to something. Who is this Tom guy? Hey, weren't you just wearing headphones? Headphones? Sabrina, what are you talking about? What are headphones? Huh? Are you kidding? I mean, like these. <gasps> That's weird. Really, really weird. By moving this magnet across a coil, you can create electrical power. Magnets are good for much more than just picking things up. You're like the most amazing brainiac I have ever met. That Tom is some whiz kid, huh? Yeah, a regular Thomas Edison. Hey, Tom, I thought you were supposed to help me with my science project. Oh, but I have. I've made a batch of inventions. Great. Something I think the world is crying out for. A stagecoach speedometer. Oh, uh. And for today's rider on the move, a two-speed horseshoe organizer. Uh, look, Tom. And here's one I think you'll find particularly useful. An automatic shoe buttoner for high button shoes. <laughs> nice, eh? Perfect. Just perfect. You're... not pleased? These are very ingenious, Tom. Honest. But see, they're kind of out of date. 
And unless we want to win the Weird Antique Award, I gotta find a way to clue you to what's new and current. Hey, Tom Man! Come on over and feast your brain on our project. See, these wires run uh, uh, some atoms into this icebox thing, and out comes free energy and stuff. It's called fusion, new dude, which is a lot higher up the scientific scale than magnets. But won't this loop the energy back inside and cause it to overheat and explode? Please, watch and learn. Pathetic how these amateurs try to question us cutting edge researchers. <laughs> out some way to get Tom up to date technology wise. How about we hit the mall? That'll work. Come on. Hey, if Tom's in, I'm in. Harvester, if you can break away from the Tom fan club, you'll notice we gotta rebuild our project. Oh yeah, right. Then after we can show it to Tom and he can make sure it works. <sighs> Alright, Steam Boy. Pick up this mess or it's double detention. Pictures that move? Life that dance? Where did so many wonderful inventions come from? And where exactly did he come from, Sabrina? Okay, I'm busted. He's the young Thomas Edison, and I brought him out of the past so he could compete with Jem at the science fair. The Edison? You mean the guy who invented everything? Yep, light bulbs, record players, movies, the works. Movies? What are those? Come on, quit kidding. I'm not. What are movies? Cinema, film, movies. Huh? <gasps> this is the most amazing invention yet. A sausage covered in a foam of corn. Oh, man. <laughs> Getting spooky. Spooky! Um, stay here. I gotta make a call. Salem, I think I've got a big problem. You've got problems? I just wanted to get a card game going, but I must have cast the wrong spell. I said poker, not polka! Ah! Please, Salem. What was it Spooky meant about disrupting time? Because I'm seeing movies and records and things disappear. Okay, okay. Let me look up the spell in the spell book. Hmm, a lot of warnings here. <laughs> Doom. Plague of locusts. Planets collide. What? What does it say? I'm getting to it. Let's see. Well, according to this, since you took Edison out of the 19th century, there's no one back there to invent the things he invented. Which is why they're all now going bye-bye. But once I get Tom back, everything he invented will return, right? Sorry, Kimosabe, but it's not that easy. It says here, every hour be worse, and the seventh be final. Oh man, I cast a spell at noon. It's six o'clock. Which means you've got one hour to get him back here, or all of his inventions will disappear forever, and all the inventions that came from his inventions. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a solo. Where's Tom? He said he found a way to fix Harvey and Pi's science project and blazed out of here. Come on, in a hurry! Pi, I've got a great idea for your cold fusion experiment. No thanks, Mr. Pestoid. Tell it to Harvey, your fan club president. Uh, well, okay. Say, where is Harvey? He just left to do some boarding. Why don't you go find him? Hmm. Wait right here. Here! You know, you can still catch Harvey if you go that way. Oh, and be sure to make lots of noise so he'll hear you. Thanks, Pi. Oh, all right, mister. <laughs> That's it! I warned all you skateboarders! Now it's time to make an example. You're going straight to... Super Final Triple Secret Detention! 
<laughs> Hi, have you seen Tom? Huh? Tom just got busted. Something called a super final triple secret detention. <gasps> Less than an hour. We gotta find Tom now. Yes, but where on earth is super final triple secret detention? get sent to detention. Skateboarding in the hallway. Uh, hey, Pi, where's your board? Uh, uh, my board? Uh, D, I don't know. Pi, why are you acting so weird? W weird? Uh, I'm not. All right, Pi, what's going on? What have you done to Tom? All right, I did it. I confess, I set him up. Oh, Pi, how could you? Oh, I'm sorry. He just showed up all brainy-like, and you guys all forgot about me. Pi, that's ridiculous. You ought to know by now how much we respect that big brain of yours. We were just helping the new guy fit in. You... you were? Sure. And just because we admire him doesn't mean we admire you any less. <laughs> For a smart guy, I guess I was pretty dumb. <laughs> Yes, you were. Now, can we please focus on finding Tom, like, now? Oh, gee, Sabrina, what's the big rush? It's because, uh, Tom has to be out of the country by 7 o'clock or his, um, exit visa expires, and he has to stay here forever! Man, Nova Scotia's a tough country. I lost him, so it's my job to find him. My tracker can pick up the homing device I've got on my skateboard. Come on, baby. Tell Papa where the big bad man took you and Tom. There! Got it! The gym! This part of my dream isn't much fun. Dream? Oh, this is no dream. Mr. Rules don't apply to me. Oh, today, you two are the opening salvos in my war of complete student body submission. Us two? I begged him to lock me away. Anything's better than one more second with that evil little child. Less than 40 minutes. Hurry! Where are we going, Sabrina? To the gym, like Pi's tracking device is telling us. What's a tracking device? <gasps> What are cars? Abandon hope, all ye who enter. Hmm. Sounds like Vice Principal Peevish to me. I know, I know. What's a light bulb? Third floor. Detention center on your right. Be sure to visit the petting zoo. But how do we get him out of there? I've got an idea. Tom, stand back. We're about to... Continued on next rock. Break you out of detention. <gasps> Jump and Judge Judy. Uh. It pays to watch old westerns. Hi ho, Silver! Away! <laughs> Thanks for loading me your skateboard, Pie. Uh, no problem. So long, Tom, dude. Show him how to board in Nova Scotia. Ah! Gotcha. Oh, all right, mister. You're spending the next three hours in ultra-final, quadruple secret detention. And, and even I don't know where that is. Oh, man. It's about time. 
I got a microwave dinner getting cold because there's no microwaves. Yikes! One minute left! It's been swell, Tom, but you gotta go back to wake up from your dream before my nightmare becomes permanent. I don't think I'll ever have a more inventive dream. Oh, I think you will. Lots of inventive dreams. Phew, close call. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, nothing like an old fashioned microwave dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this fair has helped teach you all the importance of science and technology in our lives. It certainly has for me. But after all that trouble, I still ended up with soup cans and string. Look, Sabrina, Tom's ideas about magnetic motors got Bernard and me first place. Of course, it did help that some of the other entries didn't work out so well. <laughs> Stop circling me! Stand back! You might get caught in the gravitational pull and orbit her for years! Whoa! Hans! Hans! <laughs> Dum -de dum 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 I'm almost finished, Sabrina. One more snip, one more clip, one more whoosh. Okay, Sabrina, I am finished. Everybody, I am finished. Oh, I love your hair. I love to watch you loving your hair. I love everyone in this beauty salon. Let's see, let's see. Well, what do you think? It looks terrible. I happen to think it looks good. Doesn't everyone agree? But this part flops over my eye, and this part makes my ears look big. I look like a monster! A horrible science fiction carnival freak with uneven bangs! You are being absolutely ridiculous. What's going to happen when I walk into school on Monday? <laughs> I'm sorry about that. What do I owe you? Uh, you owe me nothing. Ponytails, pigtails, and bubble wrap packing restore this gal's hairdo to the do that she's lacking. Nuts! You have too much hairspray and gel. It's causing ectoplasmic interference. What's that supposed to mean? It means you're wearing that hair for tonight at least. Besides, I think it looks great. Oh, no! Who is that? It's Chloe. Open up. <gasps> One second. Uh-oh. Chloe and I had plans tonight. What am I going to do? I can't let her see me. <clears throat> hey, cool lampshade. Cute haircut, too. I look like a total dork. I am not going anywhere. But it's mall night. You never miss mall night. No way. I can't be seen in public. You go. I think Harvey really wants you to come. Harvey? <gasps> hey, cool lampshade. But what are you doing here? I bumped into Harvey and invited him to hit the mall with us tonight. But... I know, the movies. Why don't we go to the movies? A nice dark movie with limited visibility? A movie sounds like a great idea. Let's all go. As long as no one sees me in public. <laughs> Just my luck, the entire world is here. No, oh, we'll never get in. Oh, look, here comes Jim. <gasps> Hide me. Well, well, look who's out on the town. I thought to myself, I recognize those people. Sabrina, I love, love, love that hat. Oh, thank you. It's just a little something I threw on. Let me try it on. No, I mean, you know, it's part of my look tonight. Careful, or you might start your own fashion trend. Oops, my people are holding my spot at the front of the line. Good luck getting in. You'll need it. Scattered seating only for Submarine huh? 2. Scattered seating only. Oh, no! Well, why don't we see I was a teenage lobster zombie from outer space instead? 
What is that? It sounds awful. It's an old movie, a classic from the 50s in glorious black and white. Those are the only colors in the whole movie? Weird. <laughs> Hilda, Zelda, you go on ahead. We want to see Submarine too. We'll all meet up at the end. Two tickets for I Was a Teenage Lobster Zombie from Outer Space. Seniors, please. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, but only people over the age of 65 can get in for the senior citizen rate. So, we're over 65. Oh, really? Then, could I see some ID, please? See? <gasps> Signed by the Pharaoh himself. Uh, oh. Uh, enjoy the show, ma'ams. <laughs> Cats get in free. I love this country. Ladies and gentlemen, moviegoers, listen up. I have breaking news. Oh, no. Huh? Submarine 2 is now officially 100% sold out. Great. Now what? I know. Let's go bowling. What do you think, Sabrina? Bowling? Hmm. stay here at the movies. But look, can't you read? Our movie is sold out. I have a plan. We buy tickets for Lobster Zombie in Theater 2. Watch the previews, then we'll get up and sneak into Submarine 2. That could work. But we'll be taking someone else's seats. Do you want to see Submarine 2 or what? Uh, well, yeah, but... But... Good, then it's settled. Three tickets for Theater 2. We're going to see I Was a Teenage Lobster Zombie from Outer Space. Uh, and that's all we're going to see. Just that movie. No sneaking out to see Submarine 2. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Ow! Haha. <laughs> Stubbs. Stubbs. Show me your ticket, Stubbs. And they had better be the correct Stubbs. This ticket is not neatly torn along the perforation. There is, in fact, a small chunk of ticket stub missing. This is a sub stub. What are you trying to pull, lady? The girl at the counter must have... Wow, this is one strict movie theater. What do we do? Act casual and show him your stubs. We'll sneak back out past him during the previews. Proceed. Look, there's Hilda and Zelda. Let's grab those three together, right there. Then we can make a quick exit. And now, get ready to see a newly restored classic movie from 1955. With two seconds of added footage. Not for the faint of heart. a teenage lobster zombie from outer space. Beware his pinch of doom. This is gonna be good. <laughs> I heard he beat out hundreds of other actors to play the lobster role. I've always preferred shrimp rolls. <laughs> and now, our feature presentation. Let's make a run for it! This looks clear. There seems to be a tiny hole in the side of our submarine. Oh, but tonight is the big New Year's Eve party, Captain. Who you saying to cancel the party? The party must go on! I will attempt to seal up the holes personally. Captain, the hole just got bigger! Get my 9mm caulking gun with the laser sighting. Aw, oh, man, that's exactly what he said in Submarine 1. Shh. Ooh, check it out. Three seats together. Let's see your ticket stubs for this movie. Our tickets? Uh, yeah, uh... Uh, our tickets? Um, you mean our tickets for this movie? <laughs> hey, isn't that Steven Spielberg's foot masseuse? Ooh, where? 
Freeze! We're trapped, and we don't have the proper stubs. Come here, little piggies. Can't hide from old Gavin. Sabrina, use some magic. Zap us out. No, Harvey will see. Here, <gasps> piggy piggy. That boy is so stressed out right now, you could blow a nuke and he wouldn't notice. Zap us back into the lobster zombie theater. Uh, okay, let me think. Like foxes to foxholes, like rabbits to thickets. Take us back into the movie for which we bought tickets. Well, we're sure in the movie for which we bought tickets. <laughs> You'll never look for us here. <laughs> Where are we? And why is everything in black and white? You're probably experiencing a uh, hallucinatory fallout from eating a uh, bad movie hot dog. <laughs> Plus, this movie is uh, interactive, state-of-the-art technology. Interactive? Cool. I don't remember having a hot dog. Look at that! Our Sabrina on the big screen. Good thing she got a haircut. They were just here. They were here, but now they're not. I am in control. I am in control. I am the king of this theater. I repeat, the king. Uh, how about you and me going steady, Peggy Sue? Well, golly by gosh by golly, Ricky. I don't know if I want to go steady. <laughs> Poodle skirts, this is a horror movie. Well, golly jeepers, get a load of those kids. The lobster zombie's coming! The lobster zombie's coming! The lobster zombie is coming! The lobster zombie's coming! Look out for that caption! Oh, ouch! You know, being in the movies is rough. I think I'm ready to go home now. That was totally awesome! Oh, I love that! <gasps> Look up in the sky! A real live UFO! Wow! This movie would be fun if we were back in our seats. Let's concentrate and zap ourselves out. One, two, three. Oh no! Why won't your magic work? This is a cheap B movie, no special effects budget! Magic? What are you guys talking about? Never mind, Harvey. Watch the nice UFO. Hey, you three kids in color! You'd better hide. The lobster zombie will want to know who the new kids in town are. You don't want to mess with him. I'm warning you. This movie is even worse than I remember. Maybe we should try and zap them out. You guys, when I say go, let's all run for it. <gasps> go! Cool. The music changes with whatever we do. Uh, like, let's run fast. Now slow motion. Listen. Ah, oh, totally cool. What's not cool is that that monster is heading our way. How did those kids get that? I'm in control. I am the king. Move, spaceship. You go now. This is the coolest, coolest movie. What do we do now, Sabrina? Don't worry. I've had some experience with this. Some of my closest relatives are monsters. We just have to make friends with him. Let him know he's safe with us. Don't let the monster get you. Bad monsters taking more victims. This is a calamity. We can't let him destroy our community. We must destroy him before he destroys us. Before midnight tonight. But how will we do it, Mr. Peggy Sue? We've tried everything. That lobster zombie cannot be conquered. I have an idea. What are lobsters most afraid of? Why, I don't know, Mr. Peggy Sue. That's why you're a nuclear physicist and father of the lovely young Peggy Sue. The arch nemesis of lobsters everywhere is drawn butter. 
Of course, butter. Let's gather around all the butter in town and start to melt it. Melt, my friends. Melt like the wind. Is that your name, Freddy? Uh-huh. My name's Sabrina. This is Chloe and Harvey. Yo, sup, G? Don't forget, it's important to make friends with Freddy. Chummed. Let's go. Big ride through town. Uh, a ride sounds like it could be pretty fun. <laughs> Hold on to your hat, Sabrina! Oh no! Where is he taking them? Be careful, kids! That's what I love about the movies. No commercials, just when you're about to get to the good part. Your girlfriend? Ow! Hey! She was my girlfriend. I don't want to talk about it. You're not talking broken monster speak anymore? Hey! He's talking like a regular kid! I am. Was a regular kid. But you look like a lobster zombie. What happened? Long, sad, sad story. You can tell us. We are friends. Well, once, before I was a monster, I was just good old Freddy Addison. Hopelessly in love with Peggy Sue. Jeepers! Uh, can I walk you home, Peggy Sue? That'd be just swell, Freddy. Swell. Yeah, swell. But I was always so clumsy and dumb. Every time I tried to talk to her, I'd make a fool of myself. Didn't help that Peggy Sue's dad, Mr. Peggy Sue, thought I wasn't good enough for his daughter. I tell you, honey, I don't think that boy's good enough for our daughter. But finally, one day, I had the courage to ask her. Uh, want to meet me tonight at uh, Make Up Point at, at 8 o'clock? Okay, 8 o'clock. I started to get ready for our date, and I hated what I saw. <gasps> I could never be worthy of Peggy Sue. If only I looked like movie star James Delinquent. So hours before the date, I stopped by the laboratory of mad scientist Dr. Mixer. I want to look like movie star James Delinquent. Then I know Peggy Sue will love me. I know the perfect concoction. A bit of this, a splash of that, a teaspoon of this. And now you are ready. For the transformation machine. But just my luck. At that very moment, Dr. Mixer's pet lobster crawled in. get this spaceship from? Uh... Don't confuse him. It's not his fault he's in a movie with an illogical plot. Oh, sorry. So what happened to Peggy Sue? Freddy Addison never showed up that night, but Freddy the Lobster Zombie did. two back together. Where is she? There she is. There's Peggy Sue. Lower the spaceship. <laughs> hey, Peggy Sue. Don't be scared. I have great news about someone you haven't seen in a long time. Freddie Addison. Freddie Addison? I thought he never wanted to see me. After he never showed up that night, I, I thought he didn't like me or well, the way I looked or... Oh boy, have I got a story for you. There's the spaceship, and there's my daughter, Peggy Sue. 
Follow me. Careful with the butter. I brought margarine. Is that okay? <sighs> so all this time, that lobster monster was... Hey, Peggy Sue. It's me. Freddy. Freddy! Freddy, I missed you so much. There's the monster. He's got my Peggy Sue. Get him! <laughs> He's not really a monster. He's really good old Freddy Addison. That's not Freddy Addison. Are you crazy, young lady? That's a monster. And he's got my daughter. Daddy, it is Freddy. There was a terrible mix-up with a mad scientist, and he wound up looking like this. But I love Freddy no matter what. It doesn't matter what you look like. Whether you're a lobster or whether you think you got a bad haircut, you're still you, and that's all that matters. <laughs> this is the best movie I have ever seen in my entire life. Could this plot be any hokier? You wouldn't think so, but then... I am the Dr. Mixer, the local mad scientist. I have been building this atomic nutcracker for the last several years. I will show you all that this is really Freddy Addison. <gasps> Freddy! I've had enough. Let's zap her out. That was totally awesome. My first interactive movie. Well, let's do it again. I don't think so, Harvey. I'm all movied out. What do you say, Chloe? I say we go bowling next time. I'll say one thing for you, Sabrina. You spend the night inside a movie and you still manage to keep that silly hat on. You're right. This hat is silly. It doesn't matter what you look like. Hey, everyone. Hey, Jen. Check out my new do. Just a moment. Can I have your autograph? Thank you. Now, movie star or not, you three kids snuck in, and because of that, you have to pay the consequences. Consequences? I want this floor spotless. Absolutely spotless. Sabrina, are we in the movies right now? This is real life, Harvey. It's just real life. <laughs> Dum dee dum dum dum. Where's the fire? Why the hoopla? Hoopla? Who says hoopla? Just thought I'd try something new. Why are you in such a hurry? America's favorite cartoon beaver, Billy Go Boom Boom! Today is the 500th episode of the best cartoon ever! And it starts in 29 minutes! Harv, I really appreciate you helping me home with my books. But I don't need any help. But thanks for asking! <laughs> at school. Oh, yeah, sorry. I wanted to get home in time. 33 seconds. Just enough time for some Billy Goat Boom Boom trivia. Ask me anything. Uh, Harv, why do you care so much about Billy Goat Boom Boom? Why do I care? Sabrina, Billy is more than a cartoon. Billy is my life. I count on Billy. He symbolizes the child inside all of us. Uh, sorry, no more time. It's T-minus Billy. <laughs> Hi, kids! It's me, 
your old pal, Thomas the Clown. And this is the Thomas the Clown Cartoon Cavalcade. Now that Billy Go Boom Boom has been canceled, we're super duper proud to present our new show, <laughs> Trudy the Trombone Chicken. <laughs> what? This can't be right. Chickens can't play trombones. They don't have lips. Harvey, relax. What about Billy? They canceled Billy. Harvey, you okay? Harv, bud, you gotta snap out of this funk. What's wrong? Midlife crisis. Harvey, you're 12. You know, I thought Billy was gonna be there forever. You know what this means, don't you? Um, uh, new sheets? No, goodbye youth. I mean, soon we'll be moving into a new stage of our lives. Junior high school is right around the corner. And once we turn that corner, we won't have time for the cool, fun stuff that I like to do. Like what? Putting peanut butter inside people's gym socks, belching the melodies of new wave hits of the 80s. One day you're putting your teeth under your pillow for the tooth fairy, and before you know it, putting them in a glass by your bed. <sighs> What's this, Drama King? Mementos of my youth. Please. See this? My toenail. It fell off the time I kicked the soccer ball too hard. But I made it through. And this, a wad of gum that Zach Tupper smushed into my hair. But I made it through. What's this? Oh, that's Mort, my old imaginary friend. He's the one who helped me make it through. You had an imaginary friend? Like when you talked to? Yeah. Mort got me through all the milestones in my life. Potty training, that first co-ed birthday party, the realization that my parents were actually alien cannibals in disguise. Huh? Luckily, that last one turned out to be a false alarm. And did Mort talk back? Yep, Mort was the best. Until I woke up one morning and he was gone, disappeared. Sometimes I wish with all my heart that good old Mort would come back and help me get through times like these. <laughs> Going my way, Racer X? Pop on. Uncle Quigley, Harvey says he used to have an imaginary friend. So? So, what's the deal? Is he nuts or what? <laughs> of course not. Lots of kids have imaginary friends. They're perfectly normal. Then why didn't I have one? Not all kids do. Usually they show up when children are feeling a little nervous or alone. They stick around a while and then leave when their usefulness has ended. Imaginary friend? Harvey is looped? He's potty, governor. The boy's gone round the bend. He is not. Uncle Quig says they show up when they're needed. Harvey needs him. So you're going to magically arrange a reunion between Harvey and Mort? Sounds kind of fishy. Mm -mm. If anyone can yank Harvey out of his funk, it's his good old imaginary friend. Hey, where's the spooky jar? Zelda hid it from you. Why? You have to ask. You've used it one too many times for frivolous reasons. Whitening your teeth, tying your shoes, changing the channels. What? I couldn't find the remote. Where is it? Nothing doing, kid. Of course, they have entrusted moi with its secret location, but being the highly trustworthy guardian that I am... I'll scratch your belly. It's under the sink. What makes them think I wouldn't have looked under the sink? It's wedged behind the cleaning detergent. Diabolical. Time to raise some spirits. Ahem. First things first. <sighs> Gotta stick to my end of the bargain. Whoa! <laughs> you said you'd scratch me, not tickle me. Tickle, tickle, tickle! <laughs> <laughs> I'd hate to interrupt all the fun and frolic after selflessly creating a spell for you! Here I come, sorry! Spells inside, I'm out of time. I cannot recite to you my rhyme. Thanks, I'll make it up to you. Hey, Harp! You know, I was thinking. I heard that if you scream someone's name three times at the top of your lungs, while flying through the air, on a skateboard, on Thursdays at 4.29 p.m., that the person's name you scream magically appears in front of you. Really? That's what I've heard. Jackie G! 
Chan, Jackie Chan, Jackie Chan. Well, that didn't work very well. No, I was kind of thinking you could ask for Mort. Hey, that's a great idea. But he's imaginary. So? So I'm almost a teenager. Teenagers don't have imaginary friends. Who says? Hmm, psychiatrists, I guess. Look, I know what you're doing. Actually, I got no idea what you're doing. Humor me. Do the jump and call out for Mort. was cool! So, Harv, what do you want to do first? Swallow live goldfish, paint our bodies with mayonnaise, eat paste? Let's do it all! Yeah! <laughs> all right! <laughs> hey! Da -da -da -da. You're welcome! <laughs> Darling, we're gonna do wonders with your hair! We could do it up, or we could do it down. Side to side, or back to front. We got your pompadour, or my personal favorite. <gasps> the Jean-Luc ah. Picard. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Easy, honey, don't throw a tizzy. Could you please stop that? Fine. You don't have to tell me 114 times. <laughs> nice hair, Spellman. Is the seat taken? I'm sorry, Jem, but my friend Mort is sitting here. No savesies, Harvey. I'm rich. I'm allowed to sit anywhere. <gasps> wow, this is freaky. Let's have some fun with her, shall we? Hello, students of Greendale. I have an important announcement to make. I like to sniff my armpits and make tea with dirty socks. <laughs> <laughs> make him stop! That's mean! More play off. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's so funny? So, Harvey, are you feeling a little happier now? You know, Sabs, you were right. I shouldn't worry about growing up and stuff. I'm glad to hear that Mort has helped you get past this difficult hurdle in your life. Get past? No, you don't understand. I shouldn't worry about growing up because I don't have to. With Mort here, I can have all the fun I want. Come on, Mort. Time for science class. Phasers locked on target. Oh, yeah. Really cool. And who can tell me what this bone is? The tailbone? The tailbone! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kinkle, is there something funny? Uh, no, Mr. Crampton. Mr. Crampton! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Kinkle, why don't you tell me what this bone is? Um, uh, that bone is the, uh, the... <laughs> Oh, now I remember. Uh, that's the trombone. <laughs> it's, a, it's a trombone! <laughs> uh, Mr. Kinkle, huh? did you read your assignments last night? <laughs> Actually, I, uh... Well, to tell you the truth, uh... <laughs> hmm. Okay, which little prankster wants detention? That wasn't very funny. Someone could have gotten hurt. Oh, 
what do you know? You've got cooties! I most certainly do not, whatever they are. Come on, Sabs, lighten up. I'll lighten up when you grow up, Harvey. <laughs> yeah, don't lose your head over this. Get it? <laughs> don't lose your head! <laughs> Fun, Sabrina. I... I'm sorry. So what's next? What are we gonna do now? What do you think? English. English? English? Your English sounds fine to me. Let's go have some fun. I don't know, Mort. I think I better go to class. Come on, it's me, Mort, your best bud in the world. I dare you. I double doozy paloozy dare ya! Did you say double doozy paloozy? Just like the old days. Well, I can't back out of the paloozy. Guess it's time to have some fun. There, done. Look, Mort, it's you. That's great. Now check out mine. Cool. Uh, that's me. Mort, that's not paint, is it? Sure is. Oh, wait, forgot to add your name. Mort, no. I'll get in trouble. Come on, Mort. <gasps> Oops. Uh. <laughs> What's with the toothbrush? It's to scrub the wall clean. And I got three weeks' detention. Harvey, Mort's a big three-year-old. It's time to move on. He's holding you back. Why do you say that? King Cole! This is all my fault. I should have never brought you back. Sabrina, you're killing me here. Oh, see how prettily I die? I'm going into the light. <sighs> Grandma, is that you? I bet it, Mort. Okay, Mortimer, you've served your purpose. Harvey's out of his bunk. I think it's time for you to go. Go where? Wherever. I don't care. You just have to go. But I don't want to go. Harvey and I are having fun. Can't you see that? Mm. I've got Saturday detention? <laughs> fun! Fun? Are you crazy? We get to spend the entire day together. Sabrina, you want to come too? Oh, yeah, sure. That's how I want to spend my Saturday afternoon. Great! Let me help you out. Be right back. This will just take a sec. Whoa! Ah! Whoa. Great! See you in detention. Come on, Harv. Oh, hey, I got a great idea. Let's play Name That Tune with Armpit Noises. That's it. I've got to get rid of him once and for all. Oh, it's so great to be back. You and me are best friends forever. Nice hair, Smellman. Ugh. Welcome to Saturday Detention. Here are the rules. No talking, no walking, no standing, no stretching, no fidgeting, no raising of hands, no asking of questions, no laughing, no moving, no reading, no looking at each other, no sighing, no crying, no pitter-patter, no chitter-chatter, no, nothing. Now, any questions? Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy your Saturday. What a loser. So what do you want to do, huh? Oh, I got it. Let's have a drooling contest. No, wait. Let's photocopy our belly buttons. No, wait. No, wait. You're going to get us all in trouble again. Harvey, please control your friend. Oh, now I see what's happening. It's a doozy loser convention. It's not funny, Mort. Sabrina's my friend. And she's right. We can't keep behaving like we're kids. But we are kids. Go, go. Some of us more than others. Look, Mort, I thought it was going to be hard to move on, difficult to face junior high school. But having you around for the last 24 hours, I've realized it's harder. 
to go back. What? You don't like me anymore? <laughs> you want me to go? <laughs> You're seeing another fakement? <laughs> you are, don't cry. Please stop. <laughs> Look, it's just... Am I going to be happy being 40 and putting worms down the backs of people's shirts? <laughs> Sounds like heaven. I know you think it does, and that's what makes you special. That's why you were my best friend. I just have to move on. I just have to move on. No, I do. No, I do. Stop imitating me. Stop imitating me. Stop it! Stop it! I think he's telling you he wants you to go. But we're gonna be together forever! No, Mort. I'm sorry. Come on, don't stop now. Let's have some fun! Absolutely, positively not. <laughs> I dare you! I challenge you to a duel of dares! A double doozy paloozy dare! <gasps> well, I guess I can't argue with that. <gasps> Will you excuse us a moment? What are you doing? He was leaving! Let him go! But I can't! He double doozy paloozy me! I know, but when are you going to grow up? Sabrina, I can't back out of a paloozy. You don't understand. Let's get it on! Hit me with your best shot. And in this corner, the challenger wearing purple polka dots and weighing in at 1,854 pounds... March! And in this corner, the story's protagonist from Greendale Middle School, Harvey Kinkle! Weighing in at... A henway. What's a henway? Oh, about three or four pounds. Huh? Okay, Harv, me first. Your dare comes in two parts. This'll bring the old Harvey back. First, I double doozy paloozy dare you to go to the school lunchroom and guzzle the entire week's supply of creamed spinach. Not a problem. <laughs> Mission accomplished. That was easy. Is that all you got? Part two. I double doozy paloozy dare you to kiss Sabrina on the lips! Huh? Ew! No! Don't make me do it! Ew, no! Don't make him do it! Double doozy paloozy! Sabrina, close your eyes. This will all be over soon. Yeah. I'm going to have nightmares. Okay, Mort. Payback time. Bring it on! I dare you. I double doozy paloozy dare you to... Let me grow up. What? You mean... You've been an important part of my life. I wouldn't trade our past for anything. If you were ever my friend, you've got to let me go. I understand. But can I ask you a favor first? Anything. Can I have a hug goodbye? I'm gonna miss you, little guy. Whoa! 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 I'm sorry about that whole kiss thing. I hope it wasn't too bad. No, I mean, yeah, but you know, I just thought about baseball and it was fine. A little cream spinach there, but I got it. Well, Thanks for showing me that it was time to move on. No problem. Friend? Friend. Well, uh... Bye. Yeah, bye. <laughs>